80, 90, 100. Even if the snow layer is solid, we have absolutely no problem staying in the correct lane when applying the brakes in full at 100 kmph. Incidentally, we'd have had a residual speed of 50 kmph here with summer tires. For a collision, 50 kmph is more than just a minor bump. When the car brakes, the tyre automatically slows down. All these elements that are in contact with the road move and deform, and these small sipes rise up and become wedged in the snow. This is how the car brakes. The important thing when braking on snow is to really use the full ABS control range. This means using both legs, pressing the clutch with your left foot and applying the full brakes with your right foot. It's even possible to continue steering the vehicle in the ABS control range. This means we come to a safe stop in a very short distance. If it's snowed overnight, it makes sense to take a moment or two to see what conditions are like. It's best to do this in a safe place by briefly braking in the ABS control range and really applying the brakes in full in order to see what grip conditions I'm dealing with.